before we begin, yes, this is different than my regular razor videos. This one I'm doing a little bit different because as you can see from the, the length, my facial hair looks kind of like some dog, not so extra. Meat. So uh, I'm not going to be able to do my standard one pass with the razors out today. I have the Gillette Slate. These are three blade razors. There's four of them. I got them for like more than a dollar to be straight up honest with you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys more about the razor and how it works after I shave. But there's going to be no shaving in this video. So if you just wanted to watch that. If you want to watch the guy who shaves during the videos and reviews it, check out Andrew Pinion. I'll link his channel in the comments or in the description below somewhere. He does better razor videos. He did some a bunch of other Gillette three blades, I think last week or so. Based on when I post this, I'm wearing this on April 1st. Wearing my flyer shirt just to just realize how mad I am after we lost to the Buffalo Sabres last night. Not no, we didn't even lose. We got obliterated. We pulled our goalie, had an empty net goal, got our goalie back in that, and you know what? We got scored on again, and we lost to the Sabres with an 18-game losing streak. I try and keep my personal life out of these videos, but my 2012, I think, yeah, winter classic reminder that the Flyers still can't win anything. Now, I'm going to be a little calmer in this next one, because you know what? Sometimes you got to get real, and you know what? I feel for the Sabres fans. I can understand how rough it is. But I want to forget the month of March hockey-wise as entirely as a Flyers fan. I just, I can't. I know this channel is not about me and my hockey experiences at all. So I look completely crazy to every single person here. But you know what? I'm doing what I want to because I do what I want to. As you may have noticed, my face looks different and my shirt looks different. You know why? Because the Pirates actually won a game on opening day. Yes, I'm a Flyers fan and a Pirates fan. Yes, it's weird. No, we're not getting into it. But the real question is, how did that razor go? Here's the good old look of, what does a face look like now? This still looks like crap. But I keep it that way because I want to. Okay, so let's get to it. Here's some, I have some things I like, I have some things I dislike. Well, one, it did take quite a while, being that this is a three-blade razor. But I really like that they come in this uh, resealable pouch. There are certain times products are like, oh, I don't really like the resealable pouch. But sometimes like, yeah, it works. This one can work. This one I wouldn't say would be an every man's type disposable razor. Then again, you think, what kind of man has buys disposable razors to begin with? I'm thinking maybe a businessman. This one might not be the, might actually be a decent one for your businessman. As you can see here, we have our little lubricated strip stuff. Three blades. Red. It looks hollow inside, too. And there's a little hook. So if you have, like, a, a bathroom, you can hook it. You can hang it here. There is also some ridges on here, too. I'm going to put the cover back on so I don't slice myself on camera. Because, I mean, that would be funny, but not for me. The one thing I don't like about this razor, at first, is this rubber here. You think, okay, that feels good, but if you have a bad sink or you're just not paying attention, you can get water relatively easily on this rubber part, and then it gets slippery in the hand, and it's like, okay, where do I grip it? Also, for me, this is a weird-sized razor, so if I put my hand here and here, it's good. Am I going to hold it like this? I'd rather hold it a little farther down, but then where this hole happens to be is where a finger ridge sits, so that's just un uncomfortable. There's also this other stuff up here. It's a good design. The head, as you can see, the head will flexibly move slightly, which is nice. The blades. They're quality blades. So what I'd say this razor is best for is if you're someone who has a fine shave. Maybe you've gone a day or two from shaving. A nice touch-up is this good here. Is it the absolute smoothest? After a couple, after a, I did a secondary pass after everything was gone on this side of the face just to feel everything. And yeah, it feels very smooth. Very much like it got all the hair. I didn't tear, I didn't rip, I didn't cut my face, which I was worried about because I was going to try, I was trying to get this done as fast as possible too because it took some time, let's be honest. So the quality of the razor blade, I really like. So the cut, the feel is good. Just the, holding it in your hand is not that comfortable. The wetness really got to me because I got got wet many a time. And uh, 
that's not only my problem, but the hole and the hollowness just feels weird. And that's the biggest issue is I want if I'm holding it if I'm if I'm shaving, I want to feel it comfortably in my hand. This material, it's like meant to be like basic but works. But something about it that I'm just not a super fan of. You get four of them for what I got for them, let's say five bucks. Maybe six bucks. I don't know. I'm going to be completely honest. A dollar or less for the shaving part. Just got, That went out the window today. I hadn't shaved in a while. And I was like, you know what? I want to do a shaving video again. I haven't done one of those in a while. And I'm like, I can't find anything new. I had a Bic one blade. But that would have taken literally like days. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to push that to the side. I'd never seen this. I saw Andrew Pinion had some other ones that didn't include this one. So I thought, you know what? Let's get this one up there too. But in all seriousness, I'm going to give this razor, I don't know. 5 out of 10, maybe a 6. It does its job. I feel I feel it does a great job, but the feel in the hand, I can't get over. The design, I don't care about the design. I guess it's handy. The resealable bag adds some value for that too, but you have a silver resealable bag. But the packaging is nice. I, I don't always rant about the packaging in shaving videos, but I like this one. Well, I guess uh, I took a gamble, and this one seemed to work out decently. <laughs> Procter & Gamble joke. This is why no one watches me. All right, this has been Dollar or Less Food. And if you've never seen a video from me before, guess what I usually do? Eat food as a dollar or less. But you know what? I do what I want to. because This is my channel. I hope you guys find it entertaining as well. Because you know what? We all just got to enjoy ourselves at the end of the day. And sometimes you got to know, should I get this razor? Is it slate or something else? All right, bye.